There's another infection known as the intestinal capillaryases. Intestinal capillaryases. And um, we'll be looking at this infection. And we'll also be looking at the organism that actually causes this infection, all right? So it's just like we are going both ways. Look at the infection and also look at the organism. That's the capillaria philippinensis. And you will get to look at how this uh, disease condition is transmitted. We'll get to look at the life cycle of the organism. Uh, we we'll look at we we'll get to look at the symptoms. We we'll get to look at the diagnosis. That's how to confirm. We we'll get to look at the possible treatment and the prevention for this disease condition. All right. So um, we said that the intestinal capillaryases is a parasitic infection which is caused by the what parasite known as the what capillaria philippine. Philippinensis. That means this organism was first discovered in the Philippines, right? I suspect. I could see uh, the effect. You could see this is a life cycle, right? So let's look at it. The transmission is mainly where you consume food that is contaminated or you consume water that is contaminated. And um, transmission is what fecal oral, right? And um, if even if you have contact with infected animals, could also contact it all right uh, life cycle is what eggs that's if you take in food water that has these eggs all right it's now going to your stomach that's your intestine next the larvae will now penetrate the intestinal wall the adult worms will now mature in the intestine all right then after causing a lot of problems to you the host can now start shedding these eggs in the feces all right so it will cause a lot of things which we'll be looking at as we talk about the symptoms okay so it's cause a diarrhea that is kind of chronic and as you are passing out the diarrhea you're also passing out what blood in the stool all right it cause weight loss because you are being dehydrated okay you are losing nutrients you are losing water it cause abdominal pain cause nausea and vomiting cause fatigue cause malabsorption all right Diagnosis is since we are saying that eventually the, the host will get to pass out this organism through the stool. All right. So I say you can actually do a stool examination. All right. To check out if there's eggs or larvae in it. Then endoscopy with biopsy can be indicated. Imaging studies like CT scan, MRI, x rays, serological tests can also what be indicated in this. Treatment. Treatment is mainly what? Using drugs like what? Albendazole, Mibendazole, Metronidazole. Okay, all of that could help. Prevention is what? Maintain a good hygiene, all right? So proper sanitation, good hygiene, clean water supply, cook your food thoroughly, since contaminated food can actually have the eggs in it. Then um, avoid contaminated soil because even just having a body to body contact with it cause a problem complications since it is causing intestinal problems it could lead to malabsorption problems intestinal obstructions electrolyte imbalance since you are losing a lot of fluid through the diarrhea right and it could also lead towards secondary infection meaning it will weaken your immune system and predispose you to having some other crazy infections right so that's it for this uh, intestinal capillary